Drop it. What is going on everybody? My name is Flexi and man, I have been gone for a while. Like, I, I don't even remember when was the last time I uploaded a video. It's really, like, I think it's been well over a year right now. Maybe it's a little shorter, I don't know, but I'm uh, happy to be back definitely. I've, I, was, like, I was constantly kind of looking for things that I could upload videos on, but nothing I had in my repertoire really like inspired me enough to do it. And whenever I tried to record a video, it, it wasn't really satisfying, so I kind of dropped the ideas again. Uh, but right now, with the Trap Trick Structure deck, with Draco's Layers, with like some other things that I've been cooking in the background, I have more than enough stuff to talk about. I'm really looking forward to uh, trying to get back into making videos as soon as possible. Um, and the first thing I want to talk about is the Trap Trick Structure deck, which is absolutely insane uh, in terms of staples that it includes, but also in terms of its co competitive potential, which if you've seen things like Pox, like Twitter posts about how he essentially won four locals in a row with the deck, beating nine Kashiras along the way or whatever, only using three structure decks, absolutely crazy. And um, so yeah, before I show you uh, what I can come up with for a three structure deck deck profile, I thought I'd just uh, give you a little insight on uh, what the structure deck includes in the first place. The paper play mat, of course, very important. And then the crux of the matter is the structure deck itself. I'm gonna skip the part where I rip off the uh, packaging. And here we go. So as I said, I, I've never really looked into Trap Tricks as an archetype. Like I only read a card or two from the entire archetype and I think these are all new like support cards. So uh, I'm not really gonna go into that right now. I'm mostly looking for like the most special inclusions into the structure deck, which in this case, number one would be evenly matched. Absolutely crazy reprint. Uh, also is a super rare, not a common, which is kind of nice. Uh, Trap Tricks monsters, a whole bunch of them. And then two Kaijus, which is also nice uh, for like generic removal. Uh, I think this is called Retaliating Sea in English, I'm not sure right now, um, but it's also included, which I don't even know what it does to be honest, but the sea monsters are probably always good to have up your sleeve. And then Ash Blossom, the, well, I'm, I'm not gonna say second best inclusion, like evenly and Ash are definitely um, in the top tier in this case. Some Mech Knights, uh, Artifact, Hands, if you want to play some Hat. Uh, I don't even know whether the Hands are good enough right now, but I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look into it later. Probably not though. Uh, Raigeki and Tendus are also very sick inclusions, so these four are probably like the top four in terms of uh, generic reprints. Even in like the, I don't know, past two years of structure decks or so. Um, and then, yeah, Trap Holds, a whole bunch of them. Of course, this is Trap Trick, um, Shaper Yudin, uh, Sanctum, which now that Scythe is banned, I'm not even sure if it's worth it, but uh, I think uh, one of them, like the other art type that's included here, pops a card if it's summoned, so maybe, I don't know. And then a couple of these extra deck monsters, including Sarah, which is also very sick that it's gotten the reprint. And yeah, uh, that's about everything I wanted to show for this part of the video. And now in the next part, I'm gonna uh, show you what, what kind of deck I've been able to come up with with only three structure decks. So see you in a second. All right, everybody, after taking my time reading through some of these cards and like just looking into the Trap Shirt archetype for the first time, I've been able to come up with this deck list. I've also been uh, getting a little bit of support from a friend of mine. Shout out to my boy Justin. And now I've uh, basically found a decklist that I'm pretty confident in, or rather I should say pretty content with. And now without any delays, I say let's get into the deck profile. So um, I decided to play three Pudica because it's well, kind of one of the best normal summons in the deck right now, searching the field spell, which allows you to get an extra normal summon. And then the next best normal summon kind of, let's say two card combo would be Mermilio because it adds a trap card. And also in combination with Pudica allows you to trigger Sarah and perform uh, further plays, but it also just in general, the fact that it adds your trap card is very important. And then I also decided to play three Arachno Kampa, which I'm not sure whether that's the English name or not. Those are German cards and I'm reading them for the first time, so I'm, I may mess up some of these names. I would like to apologize for that up front. Um, but yeah, this is essentially an extender, which I'm not exa exactly sure if you would play that in a Trap Tricks deck if you were able to play a Parallel Exceed, since that's usually, I think, the go-to extender. Um, but this one is also a quick effect, which allows you to trigger Sarah in the during the opponent's turn, so uh, maybe that would still be a 3 of it. Uh, for now, it definitely is. Uh, then I'm playing 2 Dionia, which... Um, what does it do again? Oh yeah, it's, it's kind of a monster reborn on summon, but it also uh, recycles one of the traps, uh, which is pretty sick, but it doesn't really advance your game plan if it's like the only normal summon you have, so I'm not gonna play it at, at 3. Uh, same goes for Mantis, kind of, because it adds a monster, um, but after your normal summon, so you kind of lose out on your plays uh, if you normal summon, or you, if you have to normal summon Mantis. Uh, so I think this is also a decent two of. 
and then uh, one vesiculio for uh, I think this is also an extended if I remember correctly, but it costs you a card, so it's not really efficient. Uh, I still decided to play that one, maybe also to just have a target for Sarah to summon, uh, to use as rainfall material or whatever. Um, I think this is a decent ratio of uh, Trap Tricks monsters. And then of course I'm playing three Ash Blossoms. Like if you if you buy the structure deck and you don't play Ash Blossoms, what are you even doing, right? Um, then I play one of the field spells, uh, which is searchable, so I don't think more than one copy is necessary. You could play it at two maybe, I think, especially because if, it's, if it gets removed, but... Um, if you manage to set up your turn one board using the field spell, I don't think it will like actually depend on it afterwards. So I think one is definitely enough. Um, and then I have three of the, well, probably something like alluring trap song, or whatever it's called in English. Um, it allows you to draw two cards by discarding one card, which is not a plus one, but it's still pretty nice. And also allows you to uh, recycle one of your traps, for example, which let, let's say you only have two of one trap in your deck and then you uh, want to use trap trick on it the next turn. Uh, you can recycle it with this or like put it back in the deck and then uh, have access again and now onto the trap cards uh, i play both uh, both the summon traps at three which uh, are very important especially this one um, it's searchable uh, but it's like also very important still to have access to it to trigger sarah and stuff like that uh, so these two i don't think you should play at less than three uh, especially in the structure deck only version uh, in a different build with more combos maybe or whatever uh, it may be different but for this one specifically, I don't think. And then I play this one, which I don't I actually know what it's called in English. Uh, something like Trap Trick, uh, Trap Hole Nightmare or something. Uh, like ter Terrifying Trap Hole Nightmare, I think it's called, yeah. Um, I decided to play this as a one-off because I was at 39 cards and I didn't really know what else to include. And I thought maybe having like an alternate uh, Trap Hole to search uh, would be decent because this one's pretty good also. Um, it's not a Trap Trick target though, because I'm only playing it in one. I don't feel like going to 41 cards. Uh, so this one's gonna stay at one for now. Uh, but then I play two Trap Trick, which can essentially give you access to any other uh, trap card that you have in your deck, uh, which I play two um, Bottomless Trap Holds, uh, which is pretty good against, you know, almost anything. Uh, two Grave Digger Trap Holds, mainly against Hand Traps, but also just against, like, I don't know, maybe stuff like Despia, for example. Um, then there's three Floodgate Trap Holds, which I'm only playing at three because of the Kashira matchups that I'm expecting at Locals and Regionals and stuff like that. Um, in other formats, I would probably cut this down to one or two, maybe, like probably two. And then the other best trap card in the deck is Evenly Match, which is also a trap trick target, but it's also just the best going second card the deck has to offer, so uh, you would be crazy not to play it. Extra deck, well, you have 15 extra deck slots, the deck has 18 extra deck monsters, <laughs> there's not much of a choice really. Uh, three Serra, three Rafflesia, and three uh, Pingui Kula are the most important ones, and then the rest is like, you can do whatever you want really. I think uh, one Alomaris, two Kularia and two Adibus, if that's what it's called in English. Uh, well, three of the Link 3, two of the Link 2, and one of the Rank 4. Um, yeah, not much to say here. Uh, the most important ones are Sarah and Rafflesia anyway. And then, finally, for the side deck, which I also don't have much to talk about, like I just played every going second card there is. Uh, three Godarla, three Kumongus, uh, the Kaijus, three Raigeki, one Feather Duster, which uh, nine monster removals, one spell trap removal. And then, since I have the space, I decided to play one additional trap trick, one additional bottomless, which m would make three of uh, each of those if I were to include them. And then a second copy of the terrifying trap or nightmare, which uh, m would turn this into a trap, tri uh, trap tricks target, or a trap trick target, sorry. And then uh, two trap hole nightmare, uh, trap tricks, trap hole nightmare, that's what it's called in English, yeah. Uh, which I just had the space and I thought this would be the next best trap hole to include, so. Uh, I might as well go for it. That's about it for the side deck. That's actually about it for the entire deck profile. Uh, I'm super hyped about this deck. I've looked into a couple combos like the, uh, this past hour now. And not really combos, but the, the main play is going first. And I really like how this deck is not just a like set for trap deck with maybe a link monster to, to end on or something, but like the summoning of the link monster and the link monster itself and the monsters. There's, there's a very nice balance between the extra deck plays and the like setting traps aspect of the deck this is what I'm trying to say. I'm pretty hyped also to uh, look into how this performs against the different matchups and going to locals with the deck and trying to uh, trying my best to win locals maybe which I know is possible as I've said in the uh, beginning of the video uh, several YouTubers have been very successful with the deck, Pac for example and I'm really hyped to see how well I'm going to be doing with this uh, but yeah that's about it for the deck profile guys I hope you enjoyed it like if you're looking for a deck if you're a new player you want to uh, ha have a decent starting point then this is definitely probably the best starting point you're gonna have $30 or 30 euros uh, this is absolutely crazy uh, value wise 
And also found wise, I personally think Trap Tricks is a fun deck, so I'm definitely looking forward to play it. If you do as well, uh, then you can definitely leave a comment in this video and also subscribe because there's going to be more videos about this, but also about other decks going forward. And other than that, guys, see you next time.